In every family, there's that one uncle, cousin, or aunt that just ain't right. But for whatever reason, you love them anyway. It's the family. A, a son does not want to hear his mother say, skeet, skeet. It's the family. 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 The family radio podcast. Yeah, don't have your kids cussing on the internet, but do have your kids dancing on the internet. Ooh, kill them. Ooh, kill them. Ooh, kill them. <laughs> the family radio podcast with T Boogie and Chill Will. It's the fam radio. We're back. Hey, hey, it's T Boogie. And Chill Will. And you know, how about January is almost over? Almost over. What is, what is that about? I don't know. 2020 is flying by. <sighs> this is supposed to be my year of change, too. Oh, this is definitely supposed to be my in, year. And the first month is almost in the can. And no, okay. You know what, then? Okay. I got it. I got it. What? 2021. That is no, my year. I'm not going. I'm not going another year. This no, is, I'm this serious. Is like, I don't year. even think it's slipping by already. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it together. Oh, you're not. I'm going to get my shit together. Oh, well, just <laughs> shit on me. Okay. I'm going to get it together. But you know what? Valentine's Day is coming up. And the yes, only reason I brought this up. <laughs> Here we go. Is because y'all don't understand. Boog has decorations for everything. Every holiday. I get it you with Christmas. You better believe it. And, uh, and, oh, and, and Christmas and is over the top. I, don't, I think. Look, I think she got a problem, y'all. Yeah. <gasps> she hasn't figured it because for Christmas, and I get it, everybody goes out for Christmas. Yes. But see, Boog took it over the edge when I walked in her house. She got Buddy the Elf, a life-size Buddy the Elf, He's Will inflatable. Ferrell, inflatable, like stand, like in the house. He's a, he usually is in the kitchen. Um, I know Santa. I know him personally. <laughs> so yeah. So I get it for Christmas. People do that for Christmas, but okay. But now why, why you, Valentine's why, Day why is you approaching. Why you got decorations for Valentine's Day? Because Saint it, it Patrick, you me... got Saint Patrick's Day for what? Because it makes me feel good. It's a one day little. It's a it's a half holiday. You no, know, it's see, a one I'm... day thing. They flow into the next thing. I've been the build up for Valentine's Day, and then I'll go for what the kind build, of build up. up? It goes from Christmas to, to MLK Day. Oh. MLK, you ain't got to worry about no damn Valentine's Day. You you didn't see my uh, pictures of uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> stop it. Matter of fact, I got it in, inflatable for him. You lying. Okay. You are, no, you no lying. I'm just kidding. You're, you're I'm just lying kidding. right now. You're lying. But um, yeah, nah, it's just it's, it's ambiance. It's it, it, it makes me feel good when I come. I work hard. I walk in and I'm like, oh look, it's so pretty. Okay. Don't hate, chill. Don't I, hate. I'm just, I just don't I'll understand. come decorate your house. I just don't too. understand why you need decorators for every holiday. Do you have some Christopher Columbus Day? What about President's Day? Well, first off, we what know about, how we feel about Christopher Columbus. We'll put a biggie. Oh, yeah. okay. Maybe I think about that. I think about that. Because the only Christopher I know is Christopher Wallace. Oh my God. Biggie. That's the only Christopher that we that we celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got summertime decorations, you know, That's back to school. That's not a holiday. Hey, That's just it the, is for me. Back to school is not a holiday. It is around here. You just don't know how much I celebrate when these little ninjas <laughs> go back to okay. school, okay? Right. After that, I ate up everything in my pantry, ran up my light bill all summer. I can't okay. wait for them to go back. That's a celebratory thing for me. Boog, a.k.a. the decorator. That's I what I'm going to call you, the decorator. Okay. Um, let's talk about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Oh, my God. Prince, Prince Harry, Harry and Meghan, Meghan Markle. Look here. <laughs> Prince Harry pulled a Eddie Murphy in Coming to America. You want me to renounce my throne? Yep. I renounce my throne. He said, I, I don't hey, need this shit. Nope. <laughs> and you know, at first, I thought, mm, how y'all going to, you know, half ass step down and, you know, want to live in North America and this and the other. Yeah. But remember, they get monies over there from. Uh, Basically from the government. From the government, the, basically. Yeah, the, the way it's broken out, understand, we don't know about that here because we don't have a monarchy or uh, whatever. We got a president, which we elect and stuff. But over bullshit. there, <laughs> other Over there, it's different because they have the royal family, mm -hmm. which the government basically gives Funds them. them. Yeah, right. gives them a stipend or whatever you want to call it. Right. It's a good stipend, too. It if, is. If they use tell. it to renovate their, yes. their house or cottage or whatever the case may be. So... I, you know, I think Harry and, and this when when he married Megan, I, you know, I kind of looked at it as a side eye. Not the fact because she's black, because she is a black woman. A lot right. of y'all don't want to want to say that, but she's a it. black woman. But I mean, and and he loved that girl. Okay, I get it. But it's just that she was an American, mm -hmm. which them over. It's a, a lot of people over there are like because mm, they that they look really down at done. us. Absolutely, they look down on us. Absolutely. Understandably so. Mm -hmm. 
um, so she was an American. Yep. She was on TV. She's an actress. Oh, so another thing they look down, down on. Exactly. Yeah. So they already. Like she doesn't have a real job. Yeah. They already look down on her. So a lot of people don't understand the issues that they were having over there. The media over there. Oh, they was calling her everything but, but a child a, a, of God. Oh, <laughs> Do you hear me? We. Yeah. So they, mm. they were really talking about her. And, and now let's put the racial aspect in it because she black. Yep. See over there. You think racism bad over here. Over, over there, across mm. the water, so across the pond, <clears throat> and 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 it's it's a different type of racism, a a very different type. The well, times- I think it's more so centered within the royal family because you you I would say you've seen more interracial dating over in England, London, you know things like that, yeah. far more acceptable than it was over here. But within that royal, royal family, family yeah. that shit is not going to fly. Yeah. Yeah. Where you get that old color girl from? So, so Harry has already turned his nose Harry, up. At- Harry, who, who this here girl? <laughs> who this here color girl? I just don't, I don't think they can handle Grandmother, this is, this is what? Megan. Exactly. This now, I Megan. know you saw the meme where they, they showed the queen's face on the day that Prince William got married to Kate. Yeah. She was happy. Yeah. Her face on the day that Harry and Meghan got married, that yeah. bitch looked like somebody yeah. shit in her cornflakes. <laughs> she was <laughs> miserable. And you can't tell me <clears throat> that there's not some sort of prejudice there. Th- there is, and they've tried to sweep it under the rug. And even they the whole, had a even rug even big enough for that. even the whole ceremony, it, it, it was a lot of color in that ceremony. Yes, a lot of color. Oh, I woke up. I'm early talking for the little, couch, little black kids with singing, snacks and everything. The the guy who officiated. Yes, it, it was a lot of color in there. That and you don't see that yep. in Europe. I don't care that that was that was a show they put on. They did understand. Oprah and Gail was there sitting in the second row. It, it was it was a whole lot of color. In Prince Harry and Meghan's wedding, which but, has never happened yeah, before. Yeah, but since they've been married, it's it's just been a lot. It's been a lot of like undertone shit that they've been going through. Well, they also it's a they, lot of they have that you know life in a fishbowl yeah. type of thing. So people always have something to say, and I don't think she knew what she was getting herself into. Who Meghan? Yeah, oh, I didn't think Ma- she Megan, knew mm-mm. it was going to be this bad. Look, Meghan, it's something about Megan. That in my eye, Megan knew what the fuck she was doing. She oh, knew she was trying. Okay. She was, she wanted to be a prince. If you go back and look at her, this bitch was in Soul Plane. So come on, girl. Oh my come on, you. you she and was now she, for the come up. And now she what she look. She got the come up. So she got the. Did she not get the come she up? She did. Is get that the come not a come up? up? Because not only are you now you know part of the royal family that you know they can't really take it from you. It always be there. Uh, in the history books or whatever the case may be. But now you got your husband. To say, you know what? Yeah. Fuck this. We, we don't leaving. even need this. We leaving. We're, and you we're got gonna... the baby too? Megan, you have hit the... She ju- has pulled look. this off, okay? But I think she, being being a person in Hollywood, she she wanted that fame. And of course, she got that from Marin, from Marin Harry anyway. Right. Yeah, so you already in the upper echelon. Look, you're party with Jay-Z and, and Beyonce and stuff. So Listen, you, see, you moving in some Idris big Elba circles. Idris is like your personal DJ. Yeah, okay? you, remember, you moving in some big circles right he now. He shouted them out in his song, yeah. Bossy. Yeah. He said, um, man, I big DJ, ask Megan and Harry, yeah. Bossy. Yeah. Yeah. That, so that, see you, did, you. Did you pick up? I got that, you. That's my jam. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Got okay. You. That's my jam. Um. So yeah, they're moving in some big circles right now, but they are stepping down. They are stepping down from their royal duties. Now, what exactly does that mean? I don't know. Okay, so that means some things that they are going to give up, like they will give up saying your your highness, her right. royal highness, his royal right. highness. They, right. they can't say that, or you can't say that when you address them now. Now you can just say Harry. Hey, no, well, Bang. they're still going to be referred to as the, the Duke, Duke and Duchess, and Duchess of, Sussex, of Sussex. But I guess you, oh, I guess you can just call them Meghan and Harry. Yeah. You so, know? and and he is still what seventh in line to be. And and there's, king. I mean, it would be unforeseen that he would actually make it to any type of official duties or whatever because yeah. longevity is in their family. The daddy gonna live forever. Yeah. Then you, you got, still got Prince Charles. You still got right. William. You, uh, so, and, and I, that's why Harry's like, well, well, shit, what am I doing? Why am you I know, living this way in this fishbowl yeah, I ain't gotta out deal here with all of this. shaking hands and kissing babies when that's not my passion. That's not my li- lifelong dream. I want 
to live a normal life and for my wife to be happy and being in this public eye, everybody is criticizing my wife. And part of me feels like Harry, under, remember, just, just think about this. Harry went through that crap with his mom. His mom dying because of paparazzi yep. following her around like crazy. He was yep. like, I'm not, look, I ain't dealing with y'all like this. And the I'm big, not. He's not. And and I think he has every right to feel that yes. way because that's his experience. But the part that I don't think you're really addressing is Megan. That Megan was on Soul Plane? No, Megan. <laughs> what? She done put that thing on him. Mm. Okay. He is willing to. Renounce. You know, the, renounce the throne, mm. move away. Not get you know that what? stipend. Not get that not money. Not get that money. They're not getting any money that from That is a lot. Yeah. You know what? She got to be blowing in a nigga asshole. She got <laughs> hit, hit, Bug. hit the bell. Bug. She is doing some tricks she's, in there. She's in taking there. care of her duke. Ooh, That's what she's doing. Woo, is she? She's taking that duke. Oh, my God. Duke it up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. I mean, um, so now they're living in Canada, or, I, or they will be living in Canada. Correct. Um, North America. I was trying to figure out what that meant when I first heard it. I was like, and and, 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 and still, understandably no. so, I mean, security reasons, y'all got to be somewhere where, because I think where they're staying is, is a place where you can only get to by ferry. It's, oh, it's, okay. Because yeah, like, okay. understand, like I said, once again, we're talking about high profile. This is high profile right now. And we know they don't like us. So now one of your people are over here. That puts, you know, maybe yeah. the royal family yeah. and yeah. everything in jeopardy. Yeah. Even though even though Harry is saying, hey, you know, I'm going to step down. But still, you, he he is. If somebody kidnap so him. Cuckoo yeah, exactly. Yeah, I understand. Can do so anything. And and once Harry has done a whole lot of charity work, he he's continued charities that his mom started with HIV and Africa, right. and, and he does a lot of things with, with wounded warriors. Of course, he has a military background. Right. He's not going to stop doing these things. As I as he's I not. think they should not the yeah. charity things that they are passionate about. I don't know what but they can being do. being part of the royal family. Um, they've have to travel, you know, do. All of these charity and campaigny type yeah. things with elected officials yeah. or whatever that they didn't choose. Yeah, that's gotta suck. Yeah. So you wake up on Monday morning. Well, we're off to have another Harry, luncheon. Your with... grandma called. She said you need to go over there to such and such. And exactly. Speak. You don't. You you have no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't have your life. You you have no you, life. You have the royal life. Yeah. And I don't. I think that he's over it. That he's had to be hard for him it. though. That had to be very hard for him to do. Very Whatever hard. he let me tell you what the first sign that this wasn't going to be his life was marrying Meghan Markle. Yeah. Okay, yeah. he said oh, he, I'm going to get cute he's, sister. He's always going by the March beat of his own the, drum. It, there yeah. you go. Yeah, you just, even when they were growing up, like is Harry the would hair? be the is one. It the red hair is that what's doing it? it? Might be yeah, that ginger. He's, that be, ginger, yeah. they they do their own thing. Even like if you research it, go back and look at when when his mom was still alive. Like he would always be the kid acting the fucking fool at at things at public events. Yeah. So I like Harry, Jesus I get it, Christ, Harry. Harry, get off the ground. My name ain't William. I ain't gotta do this. Shit. Yeah, why he, am I here? Like that's that nigga shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my brother. <laughs> Don't holler at me about none of that. I I totally yeah understand how we should have seen this coming or this yeah. did not come. I'm as not a I'm not surprised, but I I hope they last. That's all I'm gonna say, book. I, I hope too. they last because if they don't last, I'm sure. How do you, you I'm come sure you back can, to grandma sure and sure say get his throne back, but granny? Can I? You you think I get my job back? Gotta be like, I knew that heifer was no good. Okay, you left I us. Knew. You left us for dead for the colored girl, I and knew now you won't back in. When they gave me that DVD of her and Soul Plane. Oh my God! I oh, I hope no wouldn't. one made the queen watch that. <laughs> Jesus, are you serious? Look, I hope they last. I hope but but I'm, you know, go ahead, Harry. You live your life, man. I'm not mad at you. You know, they treating your wife like like hell over there. Leave. leave. Now, see, that's an upstanding gentleman, leave. right? Yeah, there. I, I, I he's like, nah, you, you you're not gonna dog my wife yeah. out. I'm not gonna allow it. And little Archie, did you wait? Did you see the video? Um, online, if somebody some go out there and research and find it, they were at some kind of big reception where it's that reception where Jay, I think it was at the premiere of uh, Lion King. Okay. The new one in right. London. So they're meeting the head of Disney. Oh, so, so and the he negotiates. Yes. He up with the yo, job. Yo. Okay, so it's the head of Disney. 
Um, it's Megan and if Harry. That's not it's Jay Z and Beyonce. Beyonce. Mm-hmm. So Megan had already talked to the head of Disney. She's moved down the line. She's chatting it up with Jay Z and Beyonce. Harry's talking to the head of Disney, and he was like, "Hey, man, you know my wife does voiceover, right? You need to talk to her about that. Y'all need to put her in, in a movie." I was like, "Harry!" And boom, Harry, you that nigga. Th- you are that. <laughs> listen, he Harry's got like, some hey, man, good you know my wife that night. Okay, <laughs> you know my wife do voiceover, right? You need to put her in a movie. Like hook up. I said, Harry, at, I ain't even mad. mad at you. And guess what? She's not going to be going. She, she, she's going to now be allowed to continue to be her authentic self yeah. because these are things that she wanted <clears throat> to do. Um, I'm sure he will still do whatever charity works that he feels yeah. passionate about. But yeah. we don't have this false pretense of the royal family. We can kind of do our best to live like normal husband except, and wife. And family. Except book for her daddy. I don't know what the bomb going to drop with him, but her daddy, he bad news. And we going to see what's going to happen. He, I think he's got a, he's suing them for something. Oh he's my suing gosh. somebody. You done stood her up, embarrassed her at her wedding, no, didn't show no, up. No, somebody's suing. Her dad? Somebody's suing the royal family or something like that. And her dad is like one of the witnesses. They're going to call her dad to talk about her. Yeah, so is her daddy is not. I'm so disappointed. How do you say, do you, like looking at her mom and looking at her dad? Like, how did that even how, happen? How, yeah, how did, no, you, you know what that together. was? Her dad wanted some of that from the mama. And he wanted, he wanted some of that brown sugar. He, yeah, yo, yes, he did. Oh, he surely he did. brown sugar. Um, but and, no, then I, and, and then came Megan. And then came Megan. Now she's Megan. a darn duchess. Yeah, how you like that, mm, mm. daddy? <laughs> but yeah, we're going to say, but I, I hope they last. I hope, you know, it's a good thing. And um, I'm just... You know, surprised he took that big step. Speaking of big steps. Okay. Your boy <laughs> TP. And I ain't talking about Tyler Tisha. Tyler Perry. We ain't talking about T-Pain either. Uh-uh. Tyler Perry. Um, first movie with his Netflix deal. And right. he look, Tyler Perry got to deal with, with BET Plus, Netflix. Make your money. He got his little studio. Mm-hmm. Tyler Perry making oh, that check. That ain't no little studio. That's over 300, look, you know, look. some odd acres or whatever the case may be. That ain't even no little it's studio. Not. But However. First Netflix um Endeavor is okay, the movie it, Fall from Grace. Yeah, it, so it wasn't a step. It no, was a, a fall movie. from Grace. From Grace. It's a movie. Straight to Netflix. And you know, that's what people are doing right now. Which, um, which is cool. I, I have no problem with that. You know However, what? I call Book. I say Book. Book. I know you got your Netflix. Have you seen Fall from Grace? She said, I've seen it. Have you seen it? I said, I haven't seen it, but I'm going to see it tonight. And let's talk about it. All righty. Where shall we start? Tyler Perry. Um, I was, I was, I was okay with the movie. Did you see any of the reviews or... Um... I saw mixed reviews. Okay, so did I. did I. see mixed reviews about it. The one that stood out the most was, oh, all the bad acting. But I watched it anyway. Um, and, and if, but Ty, I think that is a part of Tyler Perry's movies. Dude. <laughs> because, and he does put people that maybe have not acted or maybe were theater actors or not movie actors. He does that. And, and okay, so the acting, we know that. The Tyler Perry it's project not is not going to be, be the best. Exactly. Acting, even though Felicia Rashad's in it. She was. Great but actress. You know, she has fallen. But, I mean, what? I'm sorry. Um, what do you mean she's fallen? Don't you dare say nothing she bad would, about Felicia Rashad. Did what? you see her in that Drake in my feelings video? Okay, if we if <sighs> Felicia Rashad is starring in Drake's video, what is this world coming to? Bug. But that shit was funny though. Bug. Have you seen that shit? She Bug. said, "Young man, I know." She said, "The whole neighborhood heard me, so I know you heard me. <laughs> Why are your Jordans still on my walkway?" She was funny as hell in that in the beginning but of that video. I think she's a great actress. She's a great actress. So she is. She was in it. Um, Cicely Tyson. You know, Cicely Tyson always going to make a cameo in, in, in Tyler. in a Tyler, Tyler Perry, Perry going to keep her working until she in that casket. Her children's Do you grandchildren's children are good. Cicely. Go on, Cicely. He keep a check in her pocket. And um, why, but why does she always play that same, you know, elderly she, well, grandmother? Could, I mean, I mean not, I'm, not, I'm not asking her to play we a can't. spring chicken. <laughs> but exactly. I'm just saying, it's always... Look, they got to find parts that she can do. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, but I, I wasn't. I wasn't. You know, I liked the movie. I think I the, the movie plot was very interesting. Good. Yeah. Definitely had a twist that I didn't see coming. Yes. So yes. that was great. Okay. But the bad wigs and the Every, and and I don't mean just on the women. Everybody no. hair was bad. Tyler Perry hair was bad. You ain't see his um, hair look like Grady's hair from Sanford. Tyler Perry's hair was bad. Old boy from the game. What's his name? I can't think of his name. 
who played who played the the dude in it? Um, Mish, Mish, it starts, starts with an M. Anyway, his hair was bad. Um, but that I think once again that's part of a Tyler Perry movie. Remember when Shamar, bad hair? Remember when Shamar Moore had them bad cornrows? Oh my god! Oh yeah, that was horrible. It's horrible. always bad hair. Here's the crazy thing. Makad Brooks. Yeah, that's his name. Yeah. So his hair was bad. Of, oh, of, it was horrible. That's just part of part of the mm. Tyler Perry thing. Now, mm. the movie was picked apart yes. by people it because was. since it was a Tyler Perry movie, people are looking at flaws in the movie. Absolutely. And I mean, book. I went online and saw the little site about it. They were picking at things like if you look in the kitchen, Fel- Felicia Rashad's kitchen, the dishwasher. It was no bottom to it. It was just it was just the top part of the dishwasher, and then the rest was wood. People said that, I, which I didn't even notice till Wait, I went back and saw it. When they when uh, they was talking to the dude, I think in um, the meeting in the in the diner or something like yeah. that, and, yeah. and the, the white gentleman in the in the background, yeah, who was eating nothing. He was eating nothing. He had a no, fork and he and, just kept putting it in his mouth and had a he had a cup with nothing, nothing in, it, in it, but he was drinking out of the cup. It was they like, talked come about that. On. They um, talked about um, the lead character. I can't think of her name, but when she was in the bank and she was getting a text on her phone, they showed it, but it's, it was a screenshot. Right. So it wasn't a text. Crystal Fox yeah, is her so name. It was, I'm like, y'all ain't got to pick this man movie apart like that, but people are really picking it apart. <sighs> I mean, don't get me wrong. It's done on some level with all movies. You know what of I'm course, saying? Of course, yeah. If you yeah. want to, you Sometimes can. you got to have continuity in, in the movie and things yes, like that. Yes, they talked about um, the character, Crystal Fox. Her name is Grace in the movie. They yeah. talked about when she was in jail. And every time her lawyer came to visit her, uh... Her hair. The looked, hair was different. The hair was different. Yeah. It was like the Ray J. The same shot, hat. but the hair was different. Same yeah. shot. <laughs> like she's been sitting here for the last twelve minutes. What? Why does it look like she was in a tornado? Why? Why? I don't understand. And then there were some other things that happened that are just not realistic. Like yeah. would never really happen in real life. And you like, come on, Tyler. Like you let that ride. When the police officer was in the process of arresting that guy and leaned him across the front of the car, said, and they right said, here. "Stay right here, stay right here, man," and got in his car. What? I watched yeah. live PD, yeah. nigga. I knew he was going. <laughs> well, run. I think that was just for the movie. That was a, a, no. That but was see, for the movie, though. That's you know. That's what people. It made the story better. No, it didn't. It made the story. <laughs> that's why t- Twitter dragged him because it was unrealistic. We at least want you to, if you're gonna blow smoke up our ass, let it be white, cloudy, warm smoke. Let it be believable. <laughs> Don't don't try to hit me with no dry ice smoke, okay? No, that's different. Bug. Let it that's be TV things magic. That, that's movie magic. No. That's Tyler Perry Studios magic. No. Tyler Perry. That's Tyler Perry's bad. That's what that was. But I thought the movie was good. I thought what the movie was, was good. Because I told you I was, you know, kind of watching it just because. And then, you know, some things happened in, in the uh, movie that I was like, oh, hell no. What? I yeah. sat up and now I was really watching. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cause see, yeah, Fall mm-hmm. from Grace. Go check it out on Netflix. I think it, it was a good movie. I, I think, think it's. It was. I, I think it was a good movie. Think, and... I mean, you ain't got to go pay for it. So good. So yeah. what's the problem? Yeah, we great. already paying for Netflix. It's great. Hey, you know, I don't know. Let's say it's you know, I don't have two hours of your life. No, either. It's not bad. Yeah. Stop being so critical. Um, this yeah. is the first Tyler Perry movie that wasn't extra churchy. Yeah, you know, right. so and, that, you know, that was, I was, I was I, for those that that look, was your complaint previously. Like, eh, he I'm always glad. got some message, and I'm glad church. my dear, my dear didn't stick her, Ooh, no. her head out. No way in the movie, which was good. Exactly. <laughs> um, she, we're good. This is this wasn't a Medea movie. Um, some of the things that I saw is, you know. They said it, it was a, a routine storyline that, you know, it was one ridiculous twist after another. No, I actually liked no, the twist it in it. Yeah. It's just certain things that, like I said, there's there's some one-off things that you like, that shit would never happen in real life. Yeah. Once you get past that, it's a good movie. Tyler so, Perry. Get, continue to get your bag, Tyler Perry. Continue. That's how I feel. Just continue to Secure get your bag. Secure the bag. Yeah. Okay. So it was good. It was, I mean, once again, on Netflix, good little thing. I can sit and watch it on my phone. And, you know. I was good with that. It was good. It was good. We're going to give you a thumbs up, Tyler. Hey, hit the bell on Tyler. Grace. Hit the bell. Hit Alrighty. the bell. All righty. All righty. So look, um, since we have been officially uh, 
Since reborn. The, the band is back <laughs> together. Um, you know, I got a call from our distant cousin, BVNP, and he has blessed us with a what the what moment of the week. Yep, you guessed it. You know the voice, and you know what time it is. It's time for the what the what the what moment of the week. Now, on the last episode of the Family Podcast, we talked about Boosie Badass. And him walking around wearing the Kappa sweater, knowing damn well he ain't pledged Kappa at nobody's college. The only fraternity Lil Boosie is a part of is j 5 j Jail 5 Jail. But should we really have blamed Lil Boosie for that? Everybody knows Lil Boosie hadn't pledged Kappa. So shouldn't we have been talking about the man in the store that sold him the cap of sweater? Shouldn't we have put that person on trial publicly? Shouldn't we have let that person know all money ain't good money? And when you're selling paraphernalia of the Greeks to people that are not Greeks, your ass should not be allowed to sell that paraphernalia anymore. But I digress. Because Lil Boosie showed me a whole new type of reel. A couple of days ago. Now, Lil Boosie Badass did an interview with a young lady by the name of Terry Thomas, who works for 97.9 The Box out of Houston. And as she wrapped up the interview, she asked Lil Boosie Badass if he had it to do all over again, would he do anything different in his life? And this is what he had to say. Um, I'd probably say to take the same route with all my troubles and stuff because that's what made me. Uh... But I probably, uh, I'll keep all everything else, probably my same kids, just just a uh, few of baby mothers. I, I probably would have put the same, I should have, feel like I should have skeeted in the same woman and put them all in her instead of being so young. What the what? Did Lil Boosie just say what I think he said? Let's listen to it again. I'll keep all everything else, probably my same kids, just... Just a uh, few of baby mothers. I, I probably would have put the same. I should have felt like I should have skeeted in the same woman and put them all in her instead of being so young. And, you know, you got to watch out for that, you know, having kids at a young age like that. Oh, and I want to say to all of y'all out there, he dead serious. That, to me, is realer than real. Some of y'all out there keep it real, but Lil Boosie Badass keeps it real, real. I wonder if I could ever keep it that real, real in my life. Mm, mm, mm. What the what? What the what? What, what, the, what? the what? Look here, man. I don't here. even know where to start. Look here, That's man. your boy, though, Chill. That is your Who? boy, Who? Boosie. <laughs> Did you hear what that was saying? Ignorance at its best. He said, he said I should have skeeted mo. He chose and- <laughs> to use the word skeet. Oh, this is a skeet, real skeet, 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 skeet. interview, bro. But I told wow. you that last time. I said, he's not the brightest, but I told you this. All them children, this fool said he would have just skeeted in one woman. Instead of being so young and dumb. <laughs> what? Look, I... The thing is, this, you just, it's real. This no, is real. it's hard. It's to, real. That's it's real. It's hard to accept that this is somebody else's reality, okay? It's this is real cousins. for him. No, 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 no. This is your boy. Chill. I'm not owning this one. He is of no, he's not part of my family. Look, he had on the Kappa stuff this week. Next week, he'll be speaking Patois. No, he go, yes, my he is. Brother. He gonna no, be he Jamaican. will not. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> he will be at Golden Corral <laughs> with you and your family. No, yeah. wow. no, okay. no, 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 no. All right, little boost. That's not my, mm-mm. Say no more. We appreciate that, BBMP. Um, I appreciate him saying skeet. Yo. <laughs> That made me feel some kind of way. I'm you can check out uh, our distant cousin BVMP. Look him up on um, all the social medias. He's Mr. BVMP on yep. Instagram, I think. Yes, he is. Um, he's got a crazy podcast um, called Under the Shade Tree. Search for that on SoundCloud. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, um, thank you for listening to um the family. You know, um, we podcast. appreciate you. Look, we are still not. Are you opening the can? I am. Hold on. 
Yeah, I just did that. Mm, okay. Right I, in the look, I ain't even going to tell y'all what it's, what, what it's a can of. I ain't even going to tell you that. Oh, you don't have to tell our faithful listeners. They already know what it's a can wow. of. Wow. Wow. Yeah, um, we are, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, we're not on iTunes. Well, actually, our old episodes are on iTunes. Right. So I got to go in and correct that and put our new episodes on iTunes. But you can find all of our episodes, all of our newer episodes right now. Just go to um, our Instagram page and click the link in the bio. You know, you at first I felt ones. some type of way about that. Because, you about know, what? you go to these uh, Instagram all these Instagram models yeah. and, you know, every Instagram rapper and whatever, whatever. And everybody's thing says, click the link in the bio. So I was like, oh, are we devaluing ourselves? But no, what I realized is we're speaking the language of yeah, right now. It's e- you need to make it easy for people to get to if where you want them to go. that's what everybody knows, then regardless yeah. of my comfort yeah. level, we got to go with that because it. It, no, it just you, makes sense. You're getting older. So all of these things that these Mature. youngsters do. I know. I have you're getting such problems with. You're getting I mean, seasoned. My whole vocabulary always starts out with these young people. Mm, see, these young people. These young See, I can't with these young people. I, I just, but you know what? I still, you know, I'm still relevant. You know what I'm saying? So I you had are, to accept boo. that one. You are. You are. Um, yo. Boosie, Boosie's guess, still not my cousin. <laughs> yes. I'm just saying. He's your cousin. Nope. Look, book, um, new song out right now. I get emails all the time. New songs. Okay. Stuff like that. So I got There's a, new, a lot of trash out there. I just it, want it you is, to know that. Because I, I listen to a lot of things. It's, you know, I look, still have a, a teenager in my household who's like, yeah. oh, mommy, this is so hot. This is so hot. And, and I'm like, like, that is trash. That is hot. That's I'm mess. like, that is whack. It's dripping with whack juice. <laughs> Some of the, the, listen, I'm just going to put it out there. I know I said before. That, you know, I was like Rod, Rod Wave, uh, Hard on Ice, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, you know. Like, I've heard that name two or three times. The more I listen to him, chill, his whole album is about 12 minutes and 32 <laughs> seconds long. I don't understand, bro. I don't That's understand. That's these new dude. What does this do with um, Blueface? Oh, I don't even care for him. Like, it's, it's certain people. Like, I've gotten emails, and I'm like, uh, y'all releasing that? <laughs> really? Y'all about to okay. release this? Lil Nas X, you know, he had the hot one with um, Old Town Road. Yeah, and it's going to be so hard for him. to that, Pan- okay, that His he, new thing, that Panini now, thing? I like the beat trash. on Panini. Horrible. But the song's horrible. The song is trash, okay? But That's what I'm beat, like, who worked at your record label and said, this going to be the second? First release. off, that I tried be. singing it in the car, and my daughter was like, did heck? you just say, hey, sandwich? <laughs> You know, that's, that's her what happened, mentality. That's what she when you like, got smart kids. Yeah, when they when they too extra smart. You sing you know about what I'm a saying? sandwich? Are you singing about a sandwich, mom? Like, I don't understand. Yeah. But that song is only two minutes and thirteen seconds. What 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 happened? Yeah, a lot to of these newer songs are just like two minutes. Yeah, what is that about? I cannot. I don't understand. I don't understand. You got a so, verse and a chorus. And then a chorus again. And then and a, a extended outro. What the fuck is that? I don't understand. Look, that's these new Thundercats. That's how they put out music, girl. You know girl. what? Hit the bell. These new Thundercats. These new Thundercats. This is what y'all call music? Yep. Oh, my goodness. Yep. I cannot. I, I mean, you know, I secretly have my favorites in the car that I, you know, will not name. That you blast. That really I loud. blast, you know. And I know that they garbage, but eh, it's catchy. That's, so okay. I, I go with it. Um. So I got an email the other day from um Thrill, the player. Ah! Now, that's my cousin. 69 Boys, yes. a.k.a. The Bass Kings. Yep. So, he's got a new song out called MILF. Ooh. Wait, wait. That, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't what you think. It, the, he's, 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 he's putting a flip on it. He's flipping it. Like how we did nigger to nigger. Yeah. Not quite, but <laughs> he's flipping to it. to my bitch. You know, we, <laughs> you, he flipped it. Is that he's what you're saying? It. Yeah, he's flipping it. Okay, okay. It's, it's not, everybody knows what MILF stands for. Well, you mother, know mother I'd like to... Finagle with. There you go. Fornicate with. There you go. Whatever. Mother, I like to fornicate with. That, that, we're going to go so with he's, that one. he's flipping it. He's, he's not, that's not what it means in his vocabulary. And I, I say, okay, I like this. I see where you're going with I this I see where you're going with this threat. And I, I heard the song. I liked it. So um, I think we need to call him. I think we do. Boog, don't hate because I got Grammy winners in my phone. You and know my what? my phone Rolodex. Don't be hating on me. Wait, wait. I got everybody's phone number in my phone. Chill, stunting on family as usual. You know how he does. That's why I don't let nobody hold my phone. You don't understand. I got numbers in here. Like, okay. What else? I got Ricky Smiley number in here. I got Jamie Foxx number. Oh. But you know what's so crazy? I got Angela Bassett number. No, she changed it though. (laughs) Angela. (laughs) 
No, I was rocking with you with Ricky Smiley and Jamie Foxx, but when you say Angela Bassett, okay, I was Angela like, whoa, whoa. She changed it, though. She I changed never, it. I, I, mean. I never knew about that one. What, Angela what? changed that junk on me. Yeah, because you was blowing her um, up. I was not. Yes, you were. She changed that number. Okay, so we're going to call Thrill right now so we can uh, we can talk about that. I, I want to get the backstory, how he came up with this and all that stuff, so we'll call him right now. Okay. Thrill, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on? One Thrill the player. Fast cash checking in, 69 boy style out here on this road, man. Getting to the next city, had to check in with you. What you got shaking? Look, man, I know y'all on the road. That's what y'all do. Stay on the oh, road. Yeah. Stay on the road. <laughs> hey, let's talk. Oh, yeah. We, we got to talk about this new record, MILF. Now, of course, uh-huh. when, when, when somebody hears the word MILF, they think one thing, but that's not what you're talking about, right? Yeah. Hey, man, I like to say that. Fans like to say that's what he talk about, but no, what we talk about, <laughs> we talk about is moms, intelligent, lovable, fun, and sexy. We're just trying to do do something uplifting for the ladies. We want to party this spring, this summer, and we want to do it with all the mills because they really run the world, man. These the, the, last year, the young city girls they took over and, and just took over the world and shook it up, man. So I had to they had to come back and let the mills know all the aunties, the cousins, the sisters, the mamas, everybody. You know, mills run the world. You know what, Thrill? You are right with me, okay? Because at first, when Chill was like, hey, you heard Thrill's new song? I was like, uh... When he told me the name, I'm like, uh, I don't know about that. But I listened to the song. I even looked up the words. Okay. And I and, and you know what? You, you chose a lane that no one else had chosen before. Because, you know, I feel like I'm a mom. I'm intelligent. I'm lovable. I'm definitely fun. And you know, I I got a little sexy too. <laughs> so somebody needed to represent for right. the ladies like myself because, like you said, oh my God, City Girls just you know ran through 2019. Oh yeah, and then they did it, and I, like you know, a lot of the, the, the young females that represent the City Girl culture, we got respect for y'all. But you, at the same time, you got to remember where you got it from. Hmm. You got it from your mama. Got it from, you got your, it from mama. your auntie. There you, you go. Know what I'm so that's that why in the record I say, show them young girls how to do that there. Because they, they are like, you know, they just invented twerking. Y'all just used to call it booty <laughs> hopping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. And and I agree with you because there was no lane for people like me that's a mom uh, that's, that's out here doing it, getting it. But I don't want to be considered a city girl. That's not right. how I get down. Like you said, you're doing it for the grown, grown. She got her own home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. And, and you know, that that's really, and I tell people all the time, it's a group of grown people out here that grew up listening to their mama music, which was, you know, the Isaac Brothers, Sam Cooke, Marvin Gaye, and all of that is fine. Mm-hmm. But we, a lot of times we either forced to listen to that or listen to what our kids are listening to. But it's a lane for us, and it's called Grown, Grown, and welcome to the Grown Zone because it's a lot of hot moms out there, and thank we you. represent for them. Thank you. Thank you, because I think <laughs> I'm a hot mom. Okay. Oh my my kid, I, I be killing my kids. they like, oh, my God, not her again. Yes, I'm not <laughs> that old. And, no, I'm not even going to play like I'm a youngster. You know what I'm saying? The, oh, you, yeah. you created a lane for – MILFs in the new term, that's the 2020 term, and I like mm-hmm. that. I appreciate you. I really do. Thrill, yes, sir. Thrill, you and Fast, I know y'all have been on the road, it seems like constantly, and mm-hmm. y'all getting love from everybody. Give me give me your um, give me your Instagram again so everybody can follow you guys and see what you guys are up to. The official 69 boys with a Z, or you can follow at Fast Cash 69 boys. Or follow me at Thrill the Player. That's T H R I L L D A P L A Y A, like Thrill the Player, but Thrill the Player. And our fan book page on Facebook, the 69 Boys fan page on Facebook. Okay. Are you guys changing the name? What is this Base Kings thing? Tell me about that. That's just a, a, another name that we hashtag and that we go by. We were hanging out in the EDM culture. And a lot of the guys in the EDM culture, they love bass music. They would were, they were call us like bass gods. Oh, my goodness, man, we're in the room with bass gods. I didn't feel comfortable with that. So gotcha. I asked them if they could just call us bass kings, you know, and, and do the same respect. And then we started hashtagging it through the EDM movement, and then it just grew into what we were doing uh, in, in bass. Okay. Bass music, period. Okay. So it's 69 boys, hashtag bass king. Okay, okay. So now we, we, can, we can say either one now, right? Hey man, we we it's 69 boys or Bass Kings. That's right. Yeah, we want we known as both. Okay, y'all working on a new album coming out? 
Yes, our first studio album in 20 years. It's called uh, The Notorious Bass. Mm-hmm. We wanted to take it back to the car culture and just what made bass bass. Because a lot of times people think bass is just the dance, up-tempo, booty-shaking vibe. And it's not just that. It's the car culture where we would just ride through the neighborhood and knock people's pictures off the wall with all that loud racket and pull up in, <laughs> in front your of your box, Chevy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pull up in front of our girlfriend's house in high school and her mama gonna be, tell that boy to turn that music down in front of my house. Oh, <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, yeah we're trying to take it back to that, man. Just, you know, and do something for something fun for the, for the year. Okay. I'm feeling it. Also, I know you guys have shows everywhere. That's why I say give out your Instagram and all, because they can catch you guys on the road. And, I mean, y'all don't just go from place to place. Y'all might be in Seattle one day. The next day, y'all going to be in Louisiana. Like, I don't even know how y'all move like that. How y'all do that? Hey, man, hey, man let me tell you. What, what we have learned to do is appreciate every opportunity. And just we used to fly everywhere and have to get up so early in the morning to do it. And by the time we land, it's 4 o'clock, everybody jet lagged. We had caught a, caught a vibe going through West Virginia one time on a tour bus and just caught some of the beauty of God's green earth. And we figured, man, the earth looked different from the ground than it do from the sky. And we've yeah. been driving everywhere since, man. And we and it's actually fun. You get there, you're more relaxed, get to another city, see different cultures. So we look forward to hitting the road, especially with this uh, Mills versus City Girl tour that we mm. own now, going city to city. So, hey, it's, 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 all, it's all fun. It's all love. Oh, make sure you post some pictures, some videos. Wow. I, I want to see City Girls versus MILF. Wow. What, oh, wow. what y'all oh, yeah. got? What y'all got? Y'all little young whippersnappers. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate um us being able to check in with you because, I, like I said, I know y'all on the road all the time. I know y'all trying to get to another city. Might be trying to get some rest um for the show and everything like that. I appreciate your time, man. Might be trying to holler man. at a new MILF. You know, I ain't, we ain't mad at you. We understand. <laughs> I understand. Hey. <laughs> it's all good. We're headed to Miami right now. We're going to be down there tonight, man. It's going to be lit, lit. We'll have oh, pictures yes. up tomorrow. So y'all follow the IG, follow the Twitter, follow the Facebook. Y'all will see pictures and video footage. All cool, right. Thrill been in cool. the family for a minute now. Yeah. We appreciate you, man. Yeah. For sure. And I really appreciate y'all as well. Also, I want to tell everybody, hey, y'all, stream the music. If you're on Spotify, if you're on Tidal, if you're on Pandora, if you're on Whatever you own, get on it and stream the music and follow our Spotify fan page, uh, our 69 Boys page as well. Let's take this thing platinum. Let's do it for the grown zone. And you know what? Um, Boog, actually, when she pulled up MILF on uh, YouTube, yeah, YouTube you, I'm glad you put the one on there with the lyrics because yep. she had she was able to see the lyrics of the song and all that stuff. So if you want to know nice. what the lyrics of the song, make sure you go to check that out on YouTube. Yep. Absolutely. It absolutely. Thank you know you what? We're going to hit the bell one time for Thrill and these MILFs. <laughs> That's what's up. 2020 <laughs> is my year. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Believe that, baby. All right, so we jumping straight into it. Listen, Milfs. I already been in it. Milfs. We're going to let the rest of y'all get up on this. Milfs. Mom, intelligent, lovable, fun, and sexy. Milfs. I'm feeling it. I just can't stop saying it. Milfs. Milfs. Don't y'all see the girls come for me. Milfs. I'm going to need you to stop saying it like that. MILFs run the world. Yeah. MILFs run the world. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I respect all the city girls. Huh. Yeah. But MILFs run the world. Get it, girl. Get, get it, girl. 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 Get most of them got they own home. And most of them done seen it all. So the drama in their life be long gone. And they might not put that thong on on Snapchat or Instagram. But I got the milk with the pole at home. And I be like, jigging that jam, man. My hat girls that shake like Coke bottles. Snapchat and IG models. How love them be so fine. But then all the problem becomes your problem. Posting pics, that's more problems. Screenshot DM, that's more drama. Got me a milk in the grown zone. And me and Bay don't have no problems. For real. Milfs run the world. Yeah. Milfs run the world. 
run the world. Yeah. I respect all the city girls. But MILFs run the world. Look on my face. Don't have the, <laughs> you're making me feel weird over here. You know. Look, uh, let's go ahead and wrap up uh, another episode of the family. Uh, we appreciate you listening to us. Tell your friends and all that good stuff. Got to shout back. out, shout out, thrill the player, fast cash, and them out on the road checking the end with them. Also, BVNP, distant cousin. BVNP. Yeah. Yeah, also, um, make sure you download the Sound of Duval app on Android or Apple. You can mm. listen to us. You can listen to a whole lot of uh, compelling podcasts oh. and hot DJs. Hey, yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's what we do on the Sound of Duval. Or you can listen at soundofduval.com. It's just that easy. Absolutely. We are here. The family is back. Yes. Okay, well, Boog, I'm about to play MILFs again. All oh. right, that's what I'm about to do. Listen, I'm not mad at you. Just stop saying it. I'm about to like, MILF this thing up. Oh Everything going to be MILF God. right now. Oh, my God. Can I have a couple MILF? Chill, are you on the dating market looking for a MILF? MILF. Is that what you're looking for? MILF. Can I get an um, order of MILF, please? You know what? Oh, my God. some MILF fried hard. See, this is where the family goes off track. MILF. Okay. Bye, y'all. Bye. We'll be back. We'll be back. It's the family. Yo, 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 yo. Now, I want to get one thing straight, because I, I see all y'all women out here, all you IG models and all that looking all good. Well, but, 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 but I think y'all need to know the truth. Huh. MILFs run the world. Yeah. MILFs run the world. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I respect all the city girls. Huh. Yeah. But MILFs run the world. Get it, girl. Get, get it, girl. 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 The Family Radio Podcast with T Boogie and Chill Will.